Okay, fifth graders, here's 14-2, and we had some <clears throat> success this morning using Zoom. I had about six students show up and was able to see most of them, and then we even played a quiz. And um, so I think I think it's going to work. I think it's going to work. So anyways, 14-2 here, I want to go through this. <clears throat> uh, this is the very first page. Um, uh, actually, it's not the very first page. It looks like this is the second page, five, 570. Anyway, it says the table below shows the growth of a plant over a period of several days. Graph the ordered pairs to show the plant's growth. And so we've done this for us. Again, this is an example. <clears throat> um, the question they ask at the bottom of that page is based on the data about how tall was the plant on day uh four and on day eight well um here's the data so on day four this is the days this is day four um they don't have four listed so four would be between three and five right there so if it was eight on three and 10 on 5 it would probably be 9 so day 4 about 9 9 what centimeters and then day 8 about this is the same symbol that little squiggly line that means about also um, day 8 it would have been about Oh, 12 or 13, so we could put 13 centimeters. I think you guys can see that. 8 would have been right in there. 4 would have been right in there. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Um, let's see here. Guided practice. Okay, Natalie is graphing point T at 1.8. Should she move to the right eight units or up eight or up eight units? Explain. All right. So um, um, she would go up eight units. Because um, eight is on the y-axis okay remember x is always listed first and y is always listed second in a coordinate pair all right so you would go up up eight units okay describe how to graph the point cd um Well, I don't like that question, but I'm going to answer it because I think it could be confusing. They're not using numbers. They're using letters. Assuming it was numbers, you would say, I would go to the right C units then up D units okay I think that's what they're trying to get across that you just understand that this is X the first one listed and the second one is Y and X is always along the horizontal axis going left and right and uh, the Y is always the vertical axis going up and down okay it says graph each point on the grid and label it with the appropriate letter well I can do one of these how about five uh, G is five two so I'm gonna go one two three four five and up two and I'll label that G okay you guys can do those They've got a few more down below here. 
Um, and I did some of these with the kids in Zoom. Somebody asked me about um, 18 here. Whoops. They asked me about 18. They asked me about 14 and 16, I think. So I'll do those with you guys. So 18 is 3, 3. So I'm going to go uh, 1, 2, 3. And then 1, 2, 3. And see where they meet. It's going to be on 3, 3. And so I'll label that U. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. And this would be point U. Okay. That one's done. 16 is 7, 8. So I'm going to go along the um, horizontal axis to 7. And then I'm going to go up 8 on the vertical axis. And so my point would be... Looks like it's going to be right there. And that's going to be point S. And then 14 is 0. I'm sorry, Q is... Five zero, so what's listed first? The X, and then the Y is always listed second. So I'm going to go over five, one two three four five, and I think it was Miss Devusser that got this one right. And it would just be right there on the X axis, right on the X axis, okay? Because Y is zero. I don't go up at all, okay? All right, um, let's move down here. Um, how is graphing 0, 2 different from graphing 2, 0? <clears throat> well, um, well, let's see here. 0, 2, you would... move um, to the right zero units and then up two units and then two zero Whoops. You would move to the right, and I'm running out of room here, um, two units, and up zero units. Okay, sorry for the sloppy writing, but sometimes it's hard to write on this tablet. Okay. And again, I did this, I did 20 with the students on Zoom. Um, Shane took a test, and one of them, that, well, actually, I think maybe all of them kind of knew it, but basically it's 21 times 3 quarters, which is the same thing as 21 over 1 times 3 quarters. Okay. What I want to point out, though, is it says about how many. And let me ask you a question here. 21 is really close to 20. How many, um, how many fives fit into 20? That was the question I asked them. And um, it's, it's four fives. Four fives fit into 20. Well, if... If three of the fives, as in three quarters, um, were correct, it would be about 15. So three times five is 15. So three quarters of 21 is about, and remember that little squiggly line means the same thing as about, is about 15. So that's the answer to number 20. 21 I did that with the students also so let me show you something here point C is located at 10 3 
so it's going to be over 10. So I'm going to count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then up 3. 1, 2, 3. So there's the point. 10, 3. And I'll even label that 10, 3. And then another point is 4, 3. So I'm going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, and up 3. 1, 2, 3. And this is the point. Oh, wait, did I count wrong here? Oh, I did. Uh, let me hit undo. So um, this would be 1, because this is the X line right here. So up 1, up 2, up 3. So 10, 3 would be right about there. Okay. And the next point was 4, 3. So we're going to go over 4 to here. And up 3. 1, 2, 3. There we go. All right. Now this is the question they're asking. It says, what's the horizontal? That means left to right distance between the two points. The horizontal distance between these two points how far is it that's what they're asking okay so it's one two three four five b6 another way to do have done that would be the x value is 10 on one and four on the other okay and you could have done 10 minus 4 equals 6. But I just wanted to show it to you visually first so you guys knew how to do that. Okay, 22. Um, yeah, you guys can do 22. 23, graph the points on the grid at the right. You can do that. And 24 wants to connect the points to form a shape. What would be the most appropriate tool for him to use? use that tool to connect the points. Well, this is going to be pretty small in your book. It's not very big. So I, th I think what they're saying, if this was a much you know larger, like on a piece of paper, it'd be a ruler. Okay, or a really any kind of straight edge is fine. And then it says use the tool to connect the points. So go ahead and connect the points. And then finally, 20, uh, 25, um let's see here yeah you guys can do that okay so it's the end of the of lesson for 14 2 and i think you guys are good to go and then tomorrow tomorrow at um 8 a.m zoom meeting okay and i'll go over um 14 dash 2 and uh and i'll assign 14 3 so and then uh maybe we could do a game like we did today we played quiz for a few minutes so um okay that's it i will see you guys tomorrow morning those of you that can make it if not you can just watch the video and i'll go ahead and upload them to youtube like usual